Remember, humans don't have the ability to convert uric acid to allantoin, which some lower animals do with the help of an enzyme called uricase. The tumor lysis syndrome. The term tumor lysis syndrome comprises of two different uh, terminologies within itself. The first one is called as laboratory tumor lysis that is LTLS. Second one is clinical tumor lysis always called as CTLS. Laboratory tumor lysis means uh, it comprises of four characteristic electrolyte disturbances out of which if you have at least two you can call it as LTLS in the setting of a cancer that is known to produce tumor lysis. First, hyperuricemia, second, hyperkalemia, third, hyperphosphatemia, and fourth, hypocalcemia. First of all, why patients with tumor lysis should develop this classic electrolyte disturbances? Number one, we need to know that uh, tumor cells are going to have a very rapid turnover, means they are going to produce more DNA, for that you need more purines, and of course, there will be more purine turnover also, which is going to produce more uric acid. When the uric acid levels go beyond a critical threshold, that is more than 6.7 milligrams per deciliter to be exact, so they start crystallizing, they start precipitating as monosodium urate crystals. Remember, humans don't have the ability to convert uric acid to allantoin, which some lower animals do, with the help of an enzyme called uricase. And allantoin is an extremely water soluble compound so it doesn't precipitate at all but humans have lost the uricase enzyme uh, over the course of evolution that is because it's believed that uric acid has excellent antioxidant properties probably to increase the lifespan and to reduce the oxidant damage through evolution humans have lost the uricase enzyme but in some situations that acts as a villain in the formation of monosodium urate crystals and acute kidney injury. And what are the problems of this monosodium urate crystals? First of all, they can cause tubular obstruction, number one. Second, they can produce severe renal vasoconstriction and subsequent uh, ischemia to the nephrons and ischemic acute tubular necrosis. And number three, they can produce interstitial nephritis also. And to produce AKI, just a value of more than 6.7 will not be enough, at least a value of more than 8 is going to be needed to produce acute kidney injury. That is why the definition of tumor lysis will say that uric acid should be more than 8 milligrams per deciliter. So, hope you are not confused that much with these terminologies. And second, when the cells are going for rapid turnover and destruction, especially after chemotherapy, they are going to release a lot of potassium also because ICF is rich in potassium. So, you might end up with hyperkalemia and the cells do contain a lot of phosphorus as well, phosphate as well. So, the patients can develop hyperphosphatemia because of rapid turnover and cell lysis, particularly after chemotherapy for a hematological cancer. And phosphate can trap calcium so that your ionic calcium is going to decrease, resulting in hypocalcemia and associated complications like tetany and probably cardiac arrhythmias also. And once phosphate traps the calcium, they can result in the formation of calcium phosphate crystals, which itself can cause tubular obstruction and they can produce acute kidney injury on their own. And one important point to note is the fact that monosodium urate crystals can be eliminated with urinary alkalinization, which means they precipitate less with alkaline environment and they dissolve more with alkaline environment. So, you can increase the elimination with urinary alkalinization. But your calcium phosphate does not work like this. In fact, it works in the exact opposite direction. The elimination decreases. In fact, they precipitate more with urinary alkalinization. So, you need to know what you are exactly dealing with. And to avoid confusions, the current consensus says that urinary alkalinization should not be performed in patients with tumor lysis syndrome, either LTLS or CTLS. Does not matter. Okay, these are the electrolyte disturbances that you are going to encounter. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from Prep Ladder.